What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Uh, going to bring you a classic tune right now, classic progression, uh, really fun tricks in there that actually sound harder than they are, which are my favorite <laughs> kinds of things. Um, also, you know, I have a free chord and scale book with the uh, pentatonic scales in there. Uh, you can click the link down there and uh, sign up for that stuff. You'll see the link right down there. Plus, I've got uh, my social media Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. I appreciate the support, I really do, but let's zoom in and break this one down right now. Here we go! All right, this is a really fun one because if you get the chords down, which are not very hard, then you can pick pretty much any of the strings and make it sound you know, really pretty and, and actually fancier and harder than it really is. So what I want to do is show you the chords you need, and then we'll talk about some of the, uh, you know, the different picking and stuff. Uh, it's kind of this like land of D is what I consider it because there's a lot of classic rock songs that do this kind of thing. You know, like, so it's kind of like revolving around D and then you're modifying it with like walk down notes. So this song though doesn't start on a D, even though the whole key of it is D, it starts on like, you know, a chord that wants to eventually resolve to, to D. So we're just going to call this a C add nine. But really, it's just kind of like that ring finger is where it is for a D chord. And then you just take everything off except you know that ring finger. And you take your middle finger, and you put it on the third fret of the A string. So this is the first chord. So that's the first one. And then we're going to do a walk down. So you've got third fret there, third fret there. Then index finger goes to the second fret of the A string. So that's the second chord. And you could call that G over B. You know, there's a lot of names. I'm thinking of it as a D that keeps changing because it's, it's eventually going to go back to D. So you got this first chord. And you got the first finger on that second fret of the A string. And you could add your pinky to the third fret of the high E. I watched a live version where that's what uh, Steve Winwood was doing. You could keep that pinky there the whole time, too. And then index finger goes down to the first fret. So listen to the, if I hit the bass note and then strum, you'll hear it. then a full D. So you got this one, third fret, second fret, first fret, and a D. Then we need F, G, D. And you could do bar chords. You could do this kind of folky way, which I like. So it'd be, you know, third with the ring finger. Pinky on the third, second, first. And not for a G. But, you know. You do that, you do. But any kind of F and G is going to work right there. So watch, when I just do that, we've got this one. No embellishing. Here we go. Watch. F. G. D. Okay, the other section, and, you know, I'll get more into the picking, but the other section is G. In the end. A. Okay, so it's near the G, then a A sus four D. And so, yeah, it's an A chord. If you add your pinky to that third fret of the B, it's an A sus four. And then a D. E minor. And I'm wasted and I G 
F sharp, D minor, D. So watch this, G. Index finger goes to the second fret. E minor. But the other way I like it is this shape here. You go E minor, this G shape. You know, which is just like that. And this one, which is kind of like my Allman Brothers Melissa chord. It's ring finger on the fourth, pinky on the fourth, index on the second. And then you get that open B and E in there. And then I'm just sliding that pinky and ring finger down to the E minor. So watch. So, and I'm wasted and I can't find my way home. Is the whole thing? Time. And I know there's more, but this is the meat and potatoes, F, G, D, okay, the other section, G, 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 and I, A, sus, D, now the E minor, E minor, and I, G, F sharp minor, E minor, D. Okay, so now let's get a little fancier with it. The first thing we're going to do on that first chord, instead of going, we're going to go like this, and a one. So it's the open A string, second fret, third fret. And you know, as far as the picking from there, I'm not doing any exact pattern. Every kind of version I saw was a little different. The original recording has two guitars dancing with each other, basically. But this is definitely the bulk of it. And then when you go to this one, it sounds pretty cool to like sometimes hit that third fret of the high E, so check it out. And the cool thing about that D chord, uh, I mean there's all kinds of little D tricks that are in so many classic rock songs. Um, the one here though is kind of like it's open, your middle finger's off. And then you're hammering it. Hammer don't hurt him to the second fret. So check it out. Da, da, da. It's all going to work, you know? I mean, I have fun actually you know, improvising my rhythm a little bit with that. Okay, so one more time. Okay, so now watch this. So on that F chord, that's a cool little trick right there. So you got the F, da, da, D, da, da, F, D, da, da. And so I'm going on the ring finger. I'm getting my ring finger to that D string. 3, 2, O. Oh. So F and a 3, 2, O. Oh. F and a 3, 2, O. Oh. G, D. And then that's kind of got, you got another land of D kind of trick. Uh, many, you know, Alma Brothers to Bon Jovi. 
third fret on that, you know, you're holding that D chord, middle finger comes off, and you've got the pull off on that third fret of the D, and third fret of that A string, and then the open D. So it's like. So let's see, there was something else there that I just uh, realized. Oh, and that's that E minor. You know, you can play a straight E minor, but if you're on that a D chord, you can go from there to an E minor 7, which is actually, I think, the original. So you basically what you do is you want to keep, once again, that note right there. It's a D note, that third fret of the B string. Keep it, and then do the E minor. See that? That was it. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, remember, I've got that chord and scale book and that link right down there. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope to see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.